Assalamualaikum, Dr. Zaki Naik. Uh, my name is Adnan Jahangir. I am a medical student, and uh, I'm an atheist. But this lecture has convinced me otherwise that uh, Assalamu Alaikum is one of the best greetings. My, my question is, how? You are an atheist, yes. or a Muslim? No, I'm a Muslim. Uh, I'm an atheist, ex-Muslim. You you were a Muslim, now you're an atheist. Okay, brother, go ahead. All right. My question is of two parts. First one, what is the stance of Islam on evolution? The first one, it's how, do you, how does Islam deal with evolution when, I'm, as I'm a medical student, my professors, when they show me the skulls of how humans have evolved throughout millions of years, from Homo habilis to Homo erectus to us Homo sapiens, and when they show proof of how evolution has taken place over the years, how do you disprove that when there, when it is fact? It is not theory or a hypo. It is not a hypothesis anymore. It is fact. How do you disprove that? If you could answer. Well, the Jangir has asked a question that what is the Islamic view on theory of evolution, and brother, if I reply to you. Then will you come back to the fold of Islam? If it's a convincing enough answer. If I give a convincing reply, will you come back to the fold of Islam? Inshallah. Inshallah. The Jangir has asked a question. He said you are the Muslim and now he's an atheist. And he asked, what is the view of the theory of evolution? possible at all there are many books written against Darwin theory now just because today because there is no substantial fact that's the reason in school yet you teach about Darwin theory but if you read the latest researches most of the scholars most of the scholars today do not believe in Darwin theory as a whole to be correct no scientist today yet believes very few there may be few but the majority they disagree that we have been created from apes and that's what the Quran says that we believe in the theory of creation, not in the theory of evolution. The theory of creation, not the theory of evolution. Or rather, I should say the fact of creation. Hope that answers the question. Brother. No.
So where, where was the quote? What did you not understand? What you say, it is true. It was true. 150 years ago, it was true. It's not Darwin's theory anymore. 150 years of research has said that it's not once. He was just the one who started the ideology of evolution. It has gone over loads, 150 years worth of research with the latest scientific advancements that it's not what you're saying. Let me tell you one thing. It's not Darwin's theory Let anymore. Let me tell you one thing, brother. I am a medical doctor and there are many researches being done. If it turns out to be a fact, it has to come in the medical college. It is Even in the medical college. It, I'm thought it is in you, university. Sorry? I'm thought evolution in university. It's not, not in university. school anymore. I'm talking about medical. University, you learn about theories and researches. Even in medical, you learn about theories and researches. Once it becomes the fact, it comes into textbooks of medicine. I don't know of any textbook of medicine in any college in the world which says that we have been, we have been evolved. It is all these are theories and I know the research is being done. Even Darwin's theory never came in the medical textbook. And even what you're talking about, I know there are new and new researches being coming on. But none of them yet has proved it to be a fact of evolution. The, the statement by itself, theory of evolution, means it's a theory. So by English language itself, you don't have to be a researcher. When you say theory, it's a theory. When the theory becomes a fact, it changes. That thing changes into a fact. So by, by the basic you saying theory of evolution, it means it's an hypothesis. No. It is not yet a thought. There's it's a not yet a fact. There's a difference between hypothesis and theory. A theory is something in science that has the highest honor. When something gains the word theory, it's fact. The theory, in, in theoretical terms, it's the theory of gravity. But we don't say it. We just say fact. It's oh, same which, way, sorry, we say the fact of gravity. Fact sorry, what did you say? Theory of what? Gravity. If you say it in theoretical terms, but it's no the theory of gravity. It's a law of. I'm sorry. Law. I'm sorry. It's the law your, of evolution. I'm sorry. Your knowledge of science is very weak. It is Boyle's law. It is not Boyle's theory. It is Archimedes' principles. It's not Archimedes' theory. Whatever theory, when it becomes a fact, it changes into law. I'm sorry. Your knowledge is so weak, and I wouldn't like to continue. We as Muslims, we need to understand that the theory of evolution pretty much has been accepted as much of a fact as any scientific theory. We need to stop deluding ourselves and saying that, oh, it is only a theory. That's not a very academic way to phrase this. Rather, the theory of evolution is like the theory of gravity. Gravity is a theory, by the way, the how it forms and whatnot. It is as much of a fact amongst the scientific community as most other theories. So we need to educate ourselves in this point.